Why are your wardrobe basics so important? Because they are just so versatile. In this video, I'm gonna focus on one of those basics, your black pants, and show you all of the ways that you can style them. Hi ladies, it's Erin, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanna to talk about black pants. This is one of those wardrobe basics I always love to talk about. By the way, we just came out with a new course called Style Made Simple, specifically focused on Hmm? What? Your wardrobe basics. Just like your home, your wardrobe needs a solid foundation in order to function, okay? Those are the pieces that you pair with all the other pieces. Those are the pieces that you wear over and over again. They're your heavy hitters. They're your wardrobe builders. In this video, I wanna talk black pants. And we're gonna see by the end, you're gonna see exactly how versatile they really are. Like I'm gonna show you and put it to the test so you can see, wow, that's why I need a pair of black trousers. Like I talk about with any basic that you're buying, make sure it's the right basic for you. The right basic for your body shape, so that means a silhouette that's flattering for you and your body shape. A right basic in terms of quality, a right basic that you feel excited to wear, and one that will stand the test of time. I wanna introduce you to my new favorite black pants. These are by a UK line called Reese. I love these pants because they're very flattering. They're high rise, like two inches above my belly button. They're fit and flare silhouette, which is very flattering for me personally. The flare can either balance out curves or create curves where there are none. It can also make your legs look incredibly long and lean, especially when you wear them with heels. Sometimes when you're on the petite side and you wear a flared or fit and flared pant or jean and you wear them with flats, it can actually have the opposite effect, making you look a little bit shorter. I love a fit and flare pant with a pair of heels. Love, love, love. This would be like a holy grail pair of black pants. Not only that, they are wrinkle resistant, oh, and there is a seam down the front which creates that little bit of, you know, just more elongating feature. For me, it checks every box that I have. We will put a link to our new course, by the way, Style Made Simple, so if you wanna kinda drill down on those basics, you can go check that out after you're done watching this video. So just how versatile are your black pants? Let's talk about first creating a suit with your black pants. So for those of you who are going into an office, you still need to get dressed, right? A lot of you, some of you may be in a super casual office, but there are many of you out there that still dress up for the office. So the black pants are like the office staple. Must, 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 must have. And let me show you why. First, I wanted to show you the black pants, the Reese black pants with a black blazer. Notice the black blazer, showed you this a thousand times, it's by Belmen. They're not the same brand. I am not specifically matching the blacks up perfectly, all right? I'm grabbing a beautiful blazer that I have in my closet already, paired with this new amazing black pant find, et voila, I have a beautiful power suit for the office. Add a bold necklace, some elongating pointing toe booties or heels, and a fabulous bag, and you're done. In terms of blazers, there are a lot of different directions you can go in. It doesn't have to be just the power suit. You could go with a camel blazer. Camel and black is a beautiful combination. You could go with a houndstooth blazer. This one's by Aneen Bing, an oversized long line houndstooth blazer. We'll say with houndstooth, this is quite a bold print, so it will add volume around the upper body. I would leave the jacket open, okay, and show the waistband. That's how you look a little bit slimmer in that kind of print. If you can't do blazers, you can always try a cardigan. And we'll get more into sweaters for a, in a minute, but I wanted to show you an example. Here is a Jenny Kane white cashmere cardigan that is a bit oversized, cocoon shaped, and it looks fabulous with the black pants. So if you're one of those people that really struggles with the blazer fit, then here's an option too. And you can go with a darker tone cardigan to make it like a longer, leaner line. Play around, but for sure blazers are amazing. Another option that you can do on the blazer front is to wear you know, all black base, so your black pants, a black cami, and then a white blazer over that. That's very sharp too, because black and white is kind of like camo and black. It's a beautiful combination. Another option in the blazer department, and this, this is my personal favorite because I think it really does all the things that I want it to do for my shape, and that's the cropped blazer. This one by Kimberly Goldson with incredibly dramatic structured padded shoulders. I love it. Crop silhouette, silky and lightweight, and then a beautiful gold button detail. But this does all the things I want it to do. Creates a waist, which is a little bit higher than my natural waist. Makes me look broader here, which in turn makes my waist look smaller. 
Pants are flared, which again, creates that kind of hourglass shape, right? You see it? So for somebody like me, who is quite boxy, I have now created my very own set of curves. As per usual, we will put links to everything in the description box, but the idea behind this video is that you're thinking in terms of formulas, okay? So this first category would be blazer, top, black pant, shoes. Okay, that's it, that's your formula. The next category I wanna talk about are blouses. Here again, you have endless options, like pull out a bold color, bam. Pull out a print, bam. Pull out a white, bam. Pull out a cream or an ivory or a beige or a taupe or a blush. Pretty much any color, any print is gonna go with your black trousers. Literally, like just look in your closet, what do you have, pull out all of the blouses you love, Pair them with your black trousers. You're done. It's so easy. I wanted to show you a few blouses. The first blouse I wanna show you is a lace high neck blouse. This one by Waif, you guys have seen it over and over and over again if you're regular viewers. It is affordable, it is beautiful. I have it in three colors. It has cool button detailing at the cuff. Beautiful high neck, but not too high. If you are in you know, 45 plus range, you probably have you know, a little chin here. And when you wear something super high or tight to the neck, it can sometimes exaggerate that. I like to wear like almost like a mock neck or a half neck. So here's an example of a high neck, but it's more like a mock neck, okay? And I'll show you another one in a minute. But this blouse looks beautiful with the black pants. Two other blouses I just bought recently are this one by Sandro and this one also by Reese, like the brand of the pants. The Sandra one is ivory and black and the Reese one is white and black. They're both beautiful blouses that can be worn out or in, because some of you are gonna go, hmm, all these look super cute, but she's tucking in every time. You don't have to tuck in, okay? These blouses are perfect examples. The Reese top is a wrap front, which will mask a little bit of a tummy, but it also looks very thoughtful when it's untucked. The Sandro blouse is more billowy, creates a different look untucked, but still very pretty. Also going to hide or mask a tummy. Don't let that throw you off, all right? There are ways of working around that if you can't do the tuck. You could do your Sandro blouse with a crop jacket over it. Another blouse, I love this blouse so much. It's a striped high neck blouse by Veronica Beard. I showed you guys this one in another video. It's just a beautiful blouse that's so wearable, so versatile, but also adds a lot of impact. So I wanted to show you, yes, you can do prints with your black trousers. You can do a black and white print. You could do this blue and white striped shirt. You could do a bold color like this pink Legion's lace top. You can do pretty much anything that you have in your closet with these black trousers. That's how versatile and wearable they really are. Another blouse and very simple combination I wanted to show you is this mock neck black fitted kind of spandexy top, turtleneck top. And this again has the, the half neck so it doesn't highlight this part of my chin. It's also very sexy with a little cutout at the top but you can still wear a regular bra. But what I really love is just that whole like head to toe black look. Like you can never go wrong with that monochromatic look. Now, some of you may not want to wear black, and in that case, that's a whole other conversation because you can still wear the black pants, but you're probably not gonna wanna do monochrome. But for those of you who do feel like great in black, like this is such a, a power combo. That's really sophisticated, elegant, but also sexy and a little badass. So I happen to love this look, and I think it is one of those that you can definitely pull out, you know, in a pinch and you're going to dinner, or you've got something going on, work function, you know, whatever. You want to dress up a little bit more, elevate a little more, but you just also want to be comfortable, functional, and have it do all the things for you. I mentioned sweaters briefly before. I want to go back to that category. Sweaters, another area Area where you can pull out just about any sweater you have in your closet and pair it with your black pants. And I wanna show you a few examples. One is this green all state sweater that I got during the Nordstrom sale. It's this beautiful shade of green. It's a little oversized. So you're like, really? I can do an oversized sweater with my fit and flare black pants? Oh yeah, you can. Do a little tuck on it and create a little shape that way. It's a good contrast. You've got that really polished tailored pair of trousers and a more relaxed, casual sweater. Now, if 
you wanted to go a little dressier on the sweater, here's an example of how you can do that. This is by Jonathan Simkai. It is a peplum sweater that has a zip up the front, highlights the waist beautifully. The peplum, if placed right for your torso, will cover a little tummy. And it's just a really beautiful combination. Again, warm, functional, fashionable, stylish, all of the things. I showed you earlier the cardigan option. You could do a white cardigan, you could do gray cardigan, you could do black cardigan, you could do different lengths of cardigans, duster, knee, hip, Waste, you choose. Whatever you have in your closet will work, I promise you. Just play around with it. Stick with me all the way to the end because I have a bonus look I wanna show you with a different pair of black pants. But, so what if you want to be a little edgier, a little more sexy? Well, I love that all black combination that I just showed you with a little keyhole cut out at the top of the, of the mock neck. Here's another option, leather, leather, like the jacket I'm wearing right now, the exact jacket I'm wearing right now, is very sexy, is very sophisticated, is very edgy at any age and very wearable at any age. So I love this jacket by Veronica Beard, the cook blazer with these black trousers. I just think it's so, so, so good looking. And I love this jacket with this high rise trouser because it is much shorter in the back and a little bit longer in the front. It's just a very flattering length for this trouser when you want your legs to look longer and leaner. So it's just a really gorgeous look. This could be again, the office, dinner, girls night, date night, whatever. I mean, it really is so wearable and versatile. I wanted to show you one other option. If I had this fit and flare pair of pants in a shorter length, I could play around with like a chunky loafer or a pair of sneakers, a graphic tee and an oversized blazer. But since I only have them in a longer length and can wear them with heels only, which might be a consideration, you might wanna get two pairs, one shorter to wear with flats and one longer to wear with heels. I also wanted to show you a sportier pair of black pants. These are a jogger by Philip Lim. These are old, like a few years old. Paired with a sporty blazer, just a little crop cami, and some really cool combat boots. I've talked about in my shoe trend video, which we will put a link to below, that combat boots or lug sole boots are very on trend right now. Doesn't mean you have to try it, but if this trend happens to speak to you or if you already have a pair, I just wanted to give you an idea of a way that you could wear your black pants in a sportier or edgier way. So let's recap. You can create the suit using blazers. We had the black blazer, the camel blazer, the houndstooth blazer, the white blazer, the cropped blazer. You can do blouses like this turtleneck top with a cutout at the top, the Sandro blouse that's ivory and black, the Reese blouse that's white and black with that sporty stripe. You can do this more elegant lace top with a high neck. The stripe top, I love this high neck stripe top by Veronica Beard. And then you have sweaters. Remember I showed you the forest green All Saints sweater, the peplum sweater, the Jenny Kane cardigan, cocoon cardigan sweater. Leather is always an awesome option with your black pants. And then the sporty look. Do try some of those lug sole boots or those lug sole loafers or even some chic sneakers with your black trousers. Did you have a favorite? Which one was your favorite? Which one will you try? Let us know that in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Maybe share my channel over on your Facebook page with some of your friends so they know about Busby Style. I'd really appreciate that. Also, we'll put the link to that Style Made Simple course if you wanna do more of a deep dive into your basics and links to all the videos I talked about as well as product links. Do you see now? Do you get it? You understand how versatile those black pants are? I hope so. I showed you a zillion outfit combinations. You can play around with them at your, in your house, in your closet, put on some music, try some different things, take some shots of you in the mirror and save those outfits for a rainy day. It'll really be worth your effort in the long run. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.